you're going to die. Hi everyone, welcome back to Touch Shack. I'm here today with another tutorial, this one on Sony Vegas. Uh, Mask Transitions, also known as the Puzzle Piece Transition. So, as you can see in the preview, I uh, synchronized the transition with a beat of the song. You're welcome to do this, you don't have to. I think it looks a lot better. So that's what I want to do in the tutorial, just because that's what you've seen. So, a uh, way to uh, help you with syncing with either Twixter or gun syncing or transition syncing, uh, you find the beats of the song, which I have here, these four beats here, uh, and then you press M on the keyboard and that puts down a marker. This helps a lot because you don't have to re-listen to the song a thousand times, you just know where the beats are and also your clips, they stick to it, as you can see, they stick to the marker, that helps you quite a lot. So now that we've got our markers down, uh, we need to find the right clip, you can't do this transition with any clip, uh, it's got to have surroundings, for example, the clip I have chosen has the walls on the right hand side, the wall on the left hand side, the floors and the roof. Uh, you can't do it on a map that's open because otherwise you have nothing to mask and it just won't work. So I've found this clip. <clears throat> so the first thing we're going to want to do is just split the clip, delete the part you don't want, and then go up here to save snapshot to file. You click that and that just saves the snapshot and then it automatically comes up in project media. So you drag that in and you've got a still frame of what you just captured. So now that we have four beats, it means we need to mask out four parts, the wall, the floor, the left hand side wall and the roof. So with that, it means we need four layers. So we insert four new video tracks, like so. And an easy way to copy and paste this snapshot without having to actually copy and paste is you just hold down control, you grab the clip, you drag it down. Simple as that. And you do that four times. Voila. Now we're going to mask out the floor first, because that's the first part I want. The first mask does have to be pretty accurate, otherwise it's not going to look right. But the other masks, we'll talk about that when we get to it. Uh, if you haven't had any experience with masking before, uh, suggest you watch a tutorial. Um, if you've had experience with masking on, say, Photoshop, then you should be right because it's pretty much exactly the same. Uh, if you've had no experience with masking at all, yeah, go go watch a tutorial on how to mask. It is quite important for this tutorial. Um, so I'm going to leave this filing container in with the wall, just uh, just to make the wall have a little bit extra, I guess. So uh, while I'm masking now, I think this is a perfect opportunity to ask you guys um, what do you think of the channel uh, what do you think of me am I doing a good job with tutorials I know I'm new to it, new at it but um, uh, when I was on my old account a lot of people did request tutorials and I just never got around to it and I thought now that um, I've kind of gone off with the Call of Duty and playing and all the rest of it just for reasons of my own I thought you know I'd start doing tutorials giving back to the community so tell me what you think um, Am I clear enough? Do I speak clearly? Do I mumble? Do I explain things well? Just give me a bit of feedback, and um, if there's anything I can improve on, please don't hesitate to tell me, because I just want to get better, help you guys out a bit more. Alright, so now that we've got that masked out, um, you can't see it yet, because all the other clips are in the way, but if we move these, there we go. You can see the floor's all masked out, which is great, that's exactly what we want. Now we're going to do the wall on the right hand side. Um, now this is what I was going to tell you, with the masking of the wall, because it goes after the floor and it's underneath the floor on the layers, anything that overlaps will not be seen. So you can roughly do this one like so, and it's not going to make much difference as long as you stay within the mask of the last um, masking you did, if that makes sense. I hope it makes sense. Anyway. So, yeah, anyway, if I need to improve on anything, please just tell me. Um, I would like to get better at these. I think they're great fun to do, and hopefully, I mean, hopefully they help you guys. That's the whole point of doing this. Hopefully you guys are learning something new, and hopefully I'll see all these effects and some edits to come up. Okay, 
So we put this mask all done as well. So now, again, if we, uh, yeah, see, as you can see, I've got the mask overlaid quite a bit onto the scope, but it's not perfect, and it doesn't have to be because it's underneath, and you can't see it anywhere. So that's that's great. Now we'll do the other wall. I'm sorry if this, this tutorial has taken a long time. Um, I don't like long tutorials. I don't like doing long tutorials. I think people lose interest and they don't bother if they see a video is you know 20 minutes long. So I try to keep it as fast as I can to benefit you guys. Okay, so we've got the next wall. As I said, it's starting to come together. You know, we can see it. You can see the transition coming together, and it's all happening. It's looking good. Now we'll do the roof. Yeah, the first tra uh, the first uh, masking has to be the most important, and you do have to spend a bit of time on it. After that, you can just roughly do it, and it's all going to look the same anyway. Okay, so I've got all the masking done. The whole picture is one. There's no black spots. It's looking great. So now we're going to add in the transitions. Now we're going to leave them all in line for now. And we're going to go into transitions, go into squeeze. And uh, the first one is the floor, so we want it to kind of squeeze up. So we click on this transition, squeeze up. And we just drag that back to about here. Okay. We don't want it to be too fast, but we don't want it to be too slow either. So now, if you can see this, the floor comes up like so. It kind of looks a bit 3D, if you can picture that in your head. Now, right, so now we've got the right-hand side wall, which means we want it to squeeze uh, left, opposite of which wall it is. Now, just put that back. We want all the transitions to be the same length, otherwise it's not going to look good. Uh, then we've got the left-hand side wall, so we squeeze right. So, and then with the roof, you can either make it squeeze down or you can make it squeeze up behind this transition. Uh, it's up to you. I like to make it come up behind this one, so I'm going to go uh, squeeze up one more time. Okay, now that we have all our transitions done, we can just move these along to our markers, which is very helpful. Just keep moving them along until the end of the transition lines up with the marker. That way, when the song plays, it's all going to be perfectly in line and great. So now that that's done, we can move all these back. We're going to go one frame after, so just use your arrow keys, go across one, and we're just going to drag all these back to that one keyframe after the transition finishes. Oops. I'm going to need to zoom into that. Okay. Just drag them all back. And now you put your clip in there, in line. So now, if we play through, it goes one, two, three, four. Exactly what we wanted, except it's black in the background. So you usually would have the, have uh, the clip you had before underneath it, except I'm not doing an edit. This is just for tutorial purposes, so I'll put a cinematic there. So now if we look, the cinematic's playing. And then you got the floor come up. You got the right hand side come up, left hand side come up, and then the back comes up and it plays lovely. So we play that through. Lovely. Saw a mistake there, yes, yeah, okay. You gotta double check all your things just to make sure it does work and does look good. Alright, that's perfect. Okay, so that's how you do mask transitions. Uh, hopefully this tutorial was helpful. Uh, like I said, if I need to improve on anything, uh, please don't hesitate to leave a comment. If you'd like to see a tutorial on anything, um, yeah, leave a comment. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys.